Hello again. We're continuing our saga about numeric variables. Last time I told you that the main things we look for in dot plots are centre, spread, shape and oddities. In this video I'll talk about the last three. I'm assuming that you've already read the article Features of Numeric Variables. If you haven't seen them before you may be wondering what these boxes are at the base of our insight graphs. I'll explain them now. When we cut the data in half, half above, half below, this gives us the median. The position that divides the bottom half in half, so that a quarter of the observations lie below and three quarters above it, is the first or lower quartile. Similarly, the third or upper quartile divides the upper half of the data in half, so that three quarters lies below and a quarter of the observations lie above. Circling this gives us the middle half. Putting it together gives us the box plot. Insight routinely draws the box plot under the dot plot so that we can see where these values are. We can see here that the median pulse rate is a little over 70. In the middle 50% of our people had pulse rates somewhere between about 65 and 82. Here are the actual values. The length of the box, which is the difference between the third and first quartiles, is called the interquartile range. The interquartile range is one of the standard measures of spread. Here is the basic idea of spread. Large spread, small spread, large spread, small spread. The concept of spread answers the questions, how spread out are the observations along the scale? Or equivalently, how much do these observations vary? Looking back at this plot, our pulse rates are centred at about 72. They are quite variable, ranging all the way from about 40 to nearly 140, with a vast majority falling between about 45 and 105. The shape is a fairly symmetrical mountain shape. Last in our list of features is oddities. By oddities, we just mean anything that looks strange or odd. Although we've come to this last, these are often the first things that pop out at us when we look at a graph, as with this set of zero readings for diastolic blood pressure. Outliers are data points that are sufficiently far from the general pattern that they look suspect. Enough to make us worry, are these values real or are they mistakes? We're now focusing on interpreting shapes. Whereas pulse rates form a symmetric mountain shape, the results for the first urine volume test are severely skewed, bunched up towards zero on the left hand side, with a long stretched out upper right hand tail. We call this shape positively skewed. Something that will probably look strange to you in this dot plot is the way the towers of points lean. It's not something to worry about, it's a consequence of insight stacking points that are very close together but not identical. Here with weight we see two mountain peaks. A larger one centred at about 75 and a smaller peak to the left hand side centred at somewhat over 10. If you can see two mountain peaks the shape is said to be bimodal. When we see this we suspect that what we're seeing is a mixture of at least two different groups and start wondering what they are. Any ideas? Here I've coloured the individual points by their age. See how the colours relate to age. The younger ages are the oranges and yellows, and the older ages are the blues and purples. The lower mountain has the orange then yellow shades. It's made up of the children and teenagers. Interestingly we don't get a second mountain to anywhere near the same extent with heights. The left tail is much flatter here. I wonder why that is. The left tail has the children in orange and the teenagers in yellow are much more mixed in with the adults here. Body mass index is a measure of how heavy you are for your height. It's used as an inexpensive measure of over or underweight in health studies. We can see an age gradient on the left hand side. The younger ones are lighter for their heights, but it still doesn't separate out into two peaks like the weights did. It's also somewhat right skewed, but less extremely than urine volume was. Although these things are useful for grasping how things are for a single variable, they're even more useful for getting a handle on how things change, 
is in this plot constructed to investigate the relationship between first marijuana use and educational attainment level. But we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Finally, I'll leave you with these questions to remind you of the ideas we've just been covering. 